Today I'm building an apartment block in my Blocksburg town. To give it a spin, each apartment is going to have a different style to it. For example, a teenage one, a modern one, you guys get the gist. And thank you to Nathana Roblox for giving me this idea. If you want your idea in a video, just subscribe and comment down below your idea. Now let's get building. Alrighty, so the plot I've picked is this one over here in the corner. For the outline, I'm thinking a shape like this. I wasn't sure whether to just have it like this, but then I think it's a bit small. Now that I've stacked it up though, yeah, okay, I think this isn't too bad. I'm not sure whether to go three or four. Let's just go all out, guys. Let's go four. It's 2023. It's summer. We're going crazy. Also, if I sound a little bit sniffly, guys, I'm sick still. So please ignore my Voldemort sounding voice. <laughs> Anyway, let's do a traditional modern roof. This row here, though, I'm actually taking the wall out. That's because what apartment block that is decent does not have balconies. So I've added three balconies in, and that is already... Oh, my God! Looks beautiful. Now we need to decide windows, and I feel like this is way too modern to not use these. Just before that, though, I'm going to add a couple of bits of greenery around. I don't think I want to put windows all along this. I think that's a bit much, even for me. So we can do that on this one, which is only too wide instead. If you guys ever want to know how to get rid of the gap in the middle, just grab a small, thin pillar. Then you can very easily stack this. Ah! Guys, I'm so sorry. Get commands. No, how do I get rid of that? It's stuck on my screen. Okay, it's gone. I don't know how I got rid of it, but it's gone. Also, this bush looks so bad poking right into there. So I might actually do it like this. Oh my gosh, oh, why did it keep coming up? I've decided on windows like this. Oh, baby. These look stunning. It looks a bit like prison. I've put these double ones, which look insanely good. Sorry, that sounded so cocky. These look so good. Like, you guys could never. Obviously, I'm joking. You guys are so much better at building than I am. I put planks by accident, but why does this look so lit? Why does that look so good? Then perhaps brick for the rest. I think that looks slay. What do you want, slay? Look how funny it looks, guys, when I backspace it. It looks like all the pillars are, like, pushing each other. <laughs> that is so funny. The little things that make me laugh, okay? I actually like this pillar design so much. I think I'm going to carry it all the way up the balconies. We've done that exterior really quickly, actually. So all I'm going to do is borrow some of the grassiness. Oh, my gosh. Exposing the police station down here. Let's put that muddy grass back. Oh, my gosh. All this floor is fake. Exposed. I'm just putting a couple of plants in here, which apparently play with gold and diamonds for $150 for strawberries. Actually, none of this is high enough. So I'm actually going to get this cube and put it down. I'm already high enough. Ta-da. Oh my gosh. That looks so much better. I'm still not over how expensive these bushes are. Bloxburg really needs to lower some of their prices. I'm being serious. Last but not least, it's LED time. Let me line all of these pillars with LED lights, which was actually so much harder than you thought. That literally took me 10 minutes, but it does look look stunning. Now we can gather our way inside. I'm literally putting a temporary floor down because obviously the basement's there. And I'm going to use fences to quickly sketch the outline. So for the first floor, this here is going to be the reception where you check in. And then to the left, wait, right? <laughs> the, to the right is going to be an office. And then to the real left is going to be a very small little coffee shop and some toilet. Then we've got our elevator here, which cost me 66 grand. Very expensive. Then each level is going to be one apartment. So we've got a very small little corridor here, which is going to lead into the apartment. And I've done a rough sketch for each one. Obviously, we're starting on the ground floor, because we're not just going to go, let's start on the third floor. And the very first one we're going to do is the check-ins. We might as well continue the modern theme with these glass windows. Good morning. It's a new day at work. I'm at work right now. I'm going to go crazy with the wallpaper guys. I'm going to do this tiling. But as you can see, if we make it lily white, it's very faint. Like, I'm obviously not going to do it, like, right in your face like that. Does this deck tiles look good as, like, a half wall trim? I kind of think it does, and I've never done anything like this, so I'm going to add it. It goes without saying we're going to be using these modern doors, because this is basically just a modern build at this point. I'm going to do quite a sleek-looking desk. So we'll have a normal counter, and then on each side, I'm going to do this. So it's more square and proper than I'd normally 
normally do. I want to switch the chairs up. I always use these ones because they are nice. But I'm going to give these guys really nice chairs. This is going to be the luxury apartment block in town. I say that it's going to be rich, but I don't want to waste all my money on computers. So we're going to give them cheap ones. But these could still be like MacBooks, guys. Just really old ones. They probably have a lot of keys because you've got to have keys for the room. I know these are car keys, but just ignore that. So maybe these are like the skeleton keys. And skeleton keys are keys that can unlock every door in a building. In the middle, we'll have fruit because really fancy places always have bowls of like strawberries. And I love them. Whenever I go there, I always take all the strawberries. Not gonna lie to you. I've made this awesome looking unit, if I do say so myself, behind here. And you guys love my time lapses of filling them up. So here you go. It's your time. That looks delicious. We'll have lovely plants as you walk in. So you get lots of oxygen because plants give you oxygen. Little science lesson. If you ever want to know how to fill up small spaces, my advice is going and using dressers or console tables. Guys, I also have something to say. I love Bloxburg. I'm so happy with how many updates and stuff they put out. I just wish they would do more updates where they add more furniture. I feel like there's been the same furniture for so long now. Like, I want a huge furniture update where they add, like, five new categories. How good would that be? I'm going to add all the lights and stuff at the end. So, for now, that is the entrance reception done. Next, I'm going to do the office because this is literally a pointless room. Aren't I feeling crazy and magical with my wallpaper today? Like, I've literally gone for these crazy tiles. What bookshelves do they have? They need to add modern bookshelves. They only have traditional ones. We could, I suppose, use some of these tree-looking ones. I love how it's called a bookshelf and there's hardly any books on it. People often ask me why I always add offices, but offices are so important for buildings like this, for the managers and stuff to make sure they know what's going on. Lastly, over here we'll have a little meeting table and rather than strawberries this time we're going to have lemons even though why is it lemons they're so sour who is gonna have this i'm feeling spectacular <laughs> that was the cringest thing i've ever said i'm feeling crazy was what i meant so i'm gonna make some custom plants i've explained how to do it before it's so simple you literally get a thin cube like this pop a lovely decal onto it then you simply copy and paste the tree decal, which by the way, blimmin' expensive. You put that in the plant pot. Couple of shelves can go here. That is another room chocked off. Now just the toilets and the coffee shop. I'm going to use the same walls from the outside and then maybe we'll have a couple of feature walls like this. We'll still keep with the modern theme though. So we'll have the counter over here in the corner. And this is reminding me so much of my motel. Who watched my motel video? Doesn't this give you that vibe? Back here, we'll put some of these counter things. Even some stools I think could look nice here if we just even put them messy. Some plaid so it's comfy on your bum because there's nothing worse than sitting down and it's like a hard rock chair. That's what I'm sat on right now. I'll have coffee machines, slushy machines too. Maybe this corner one should actually be a sink because otherwise you guys are going to get so mad if I forget a sink again. I'm also going to have some cups out so as if you've just finished your drink. Definitely water in these cups. Now that we've got the actual bar bit done, now we can add the tables and chairs. Ketchup and mustard because I hate having to ask for it at restaurants. I'm too shy to even take my own order, let alone be like, excuse me, can I have ketchup? Who else gets so scared when you're ordering. I make someone else do it. This is a lovely coffee shop. That is that done. Toilets. I'm literally speed building this, guys. It's toilets. You've seen me build them 20 million hundred times. There we go. That is the lovely bathroom done. And the whole downstairs. I feel like we did that really quick. I'm going to do LED lights for the roof. So they're a bit wonky, but all the best things in life are wonky. <laughs> True Reese's 2023, all the best things in life are wonky. Now we have the free apartments to do. So remember at the beginning, I was like, each one's gonna have a different style. What I meant by that is, for example, I'm gonna make this first one as if a teenager from high school lives in it. Then the one above is gonna be more modern, like a rich millionaire lives there. So I'll start off by giving this a blank canvas. And the person living in this apartment is gonna be like a rich trust fund teenager whose parents just pay for their apartment. Here's the entryway. To be fair, I don't really care about this. So along the back, I want you to have a really nice skylit view out these windows. If you're wondering, this is obviously the bedroom, bathroom, then balcony. We might as well start with the balcony while we're here. Do you know what I mean? Maybe a patio table. It's a bit big. 
big, but also I was like, what's missing? Am I dumb? Obviously you need a railing or the amount of lawsuits for people falling off the balcony. I'm going to do the kitchen, which I think should be over here. Okay, this is the basis layout I've got for the kitchen. I was thinking black, gold, and white looks so fancy. I've decided also I'm gonna put decals here. Oh my gosh, just by adding decals, I forget how absolutely blimmin' beautiful they are. Look how cute this is, me building with my little sing song in the background. Oh, I'm having a blast. We'll use these fancy stools. This wall here is calling to me for a bookshelf. I've spoken about this before, but lots of you guys ask me how long my videos take to make. Right now, I've been filming for an hour and a half. So on average, I'd say my videos take about an hour and a half to film. Film. then editing takes about two hours as well. So that's just a little behind the scenes if you wondered how long the vids take to make. Fancy people who have loads of money also have their tables laid all the time. I wish mine was laid all the time. My table's never laid, even when I eat on it. Like I literally just grab like a waffle or a pie and just shove it down my throat. That's the kitchen dining area done. Over here is gonna be the living room. I originally wanted it open planned, but I think I'm gonna like border it off a bit. So this should be simple. And as long as we get this, which is an entertainment center. This combined with a couple of bookshelves literally covers the whole wall space for us. We'll have a big old carpet for the sofa. Just before we put that, this space here is perfect for a little piano. This is what I've came up with for the sofa arrangement. This looks so fancy. Don't tell me some rich girl or boy ain't living here. I don't know what this space over here is. It's just a cute area, I guess. I think that is done for the living room. It's such a nice space. What on earth? This green reminds me of Starbucks, the green bricks. While we're in the bathroom, we might as well do this because it's so small anyways. Also, some people get mad in the comments when I call these toilets. People are like, they're called bathrooms. They're called restrooms. In England, we call them just toilets because we're just casual, I guess. But yeah, that is the bathroom. It is so, so cute. I love little en suites. It's my dream to have one in real life. I'm sure I will. Got a manifest, haven't we, guys? We'll give them some fancy bed and just bombard this with pillows. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love beds. They're just my favorite place. Plant lover one, two, three in here. Look how many plants are in this room. Last but not least, I think they should just have a little seating area in here. And of course, a little wardrobe get ready area. And that, guys, is this entire apartment room done. So we have one more to do up here. But due to time and money, I've decided I am doing this apartment, but I'm going to leave the bedroom. So we're just going to do the main part, if that makes sense. I want the kitchen as soon as you walk in, because this is going to be modern. It's going to be luxurious. Like, y'all aren't even ready for this kitchen. It's beautiful already. Here, I'm adding a couple of tea towels. And if you don't know what tea towels are, they're basically the kitchen towels. That's what we call them in England. We might as well put the marble tiling in as we have it anyway. To separate the kitchen off a bit more, I'm going to use these really modern pillars. Look at those bad boys. Obviously, we want to let a lot of light in again like we did in the other apartment. So we'll have windows galore. Then do you remember how we did the island in the reception? I'm going to do the same in here. And what stools are more modern than these icons? As you walk in, I want to have some of these cool cabinets. Of course, a hat stand. Something also I haven't been adding at all is welcome mats. You are welcome into this apartment. I accidentally put these bricks, but I'm actually going to continue to use them. So it's like an indoor outdoor look. I was thinking this in here could be a little living room. Oh my god. I just sing to be funny. Like I know it sounds so bad, but if there's people out there who think it sounds good, just thank you for being so nice. And no thank you to the people who comment. You're like, you sound like a cat dying. True, but you don't need to point it out, okay? Be nice people. Living room though is done. That is all checked off. So last First of all, we literally just have to add a dining table. And since there's so much space for it, it can literally be huge. It is gorgeous, 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 all I have to say. The last thing I need to do is add all the lights in. And with that, our gorgeous apartment building is finished. Okay, friends, here we are outside of it. This is so tall, so stunning, mainly because I'm looking so stunning out here. If I walked in here, I would already know immediately. Rich people here, rich people are here. We have places to sit. You can even rest. Like, that is how comfy it is. Here's the reception desk. So you can sit down, check in. Hi, hi, hello. To the left, we have a coffee room. Room, so you can get your coffee here in the morning. If the toilets in your room are broken, for example, you can come and use these public ones. 
and in here is just an office for the manager to do admin and I'm very proud of these custom plants. If we go into our elevator it's actually super nice there's three options I'm gonna go to floor two obviously first. La 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 love the elevator. Here we are and let's pretend we've been invited to this rich girl's party. Oh my gosh boop boop boop. But this apartment at first glance is beautiful. We have an incredibly big dining table, a lovely gorgeous kitchen which is white gold and black and our first balcony which actually has a really nice view over the uni. Next door to that is the bedroom. Oh guys I actually really want to live here in real life. This is such my style and of course it gets its own ensuite bathroom. Also there is a living room. I'm actually really proud of this build. Then we have one more apartment so if we open up these doors this is the modern apartment. So if you don't like traditional you would probably buy this one. It's got a gorgeous kitchen and dining area and a gorgeous little living room. This is more of an apartment for maybe one or two people but at the end of the day it's still stunning. So there we have it guys. That was me building a block of apartments for my town. Let me know what you thought of it or what you want me to build next in the comments. Thanks to all of you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.